We're going to take a look at what is actually happening with waveforms that are being filtered. Okay, let's start off with a sine wave. Now in theory, there's a sine wave. The sine wave is the most basic waveform. It contains no extra harmonics. It only contains the fundamental. That's one wiggle. It's one thing wiggling back and forth. There are no harmonics that are riding atop it to change the timbre. There are no other frequencies involved, theoretically. Of course, you know, to get a pure sine wave is it's something you have to work towards. But we can basically see what's happening here when we try to filter the sine wave. Okay, you'll notice the sine wave went away. Where did the sine wave go? Well, this is a low pass filter. So when it's all the way open, all the frequencies present are going through. As we diminish, as we close or diminish the cutoff point, the higher frequencies are shaved off. But with the pitch that we're playing here, this A that we're playing, if this is a sine wave, there, there are no higher frequencies than A 220, which is what I think this is. So, um, or thereabouts, someone with perfect pitch is rolling their eyes right now. But anyway, um, the point of the matter is, when you have a sine wave, the frequency you hear is the only frequency present. So when we start carving down the higher frequencies, nothing is happening because there are no higher frequencies. There's nothing to shave down. So when you're using a sine wave, you, you actually can't even very effectively filter it because all you can filter is it, the fundamental. Now luckily synthesizers don't always make the most perfect sine waves, so this sine wave might actually contain a little bit of extra harmonic material. But yeah, once we get down to the point where it disappears, it's only because a low-pass filter has gone past the point where A220 is and it has filtered out that frequency. Like so. At the point at which we can still see there's a little bit, we're seeing the 24 decibel per octave slope. This filter doesn't you know, cut out each frequency completely as it goes down. It's a slope that rides along and diminishes things as it passes. So we're gonna see a little bit of A220 left once we've passed the 220 mark until such a point as that slope completely uh, cuts it out. And the sine wave is the unfilterable wave. It's not good for filtering. There's a triangle wave. The triangle wave has a little bit, it's not a sine wave. It has some more frequencies in it than the sine wave. So we can actually filter it, although it's not awesome for filtering. You can watch. You can hear the character of the sound changing as we, as we diminish the frequencies, the upper frequencies. <laughs> 